Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I am doing a mukbang. I haven't done one of these in such a long time and honestly, these are my favorite videos to film in the world and I know you guys love them as well because they honestly go so well. So I hope you're very excited for today's video. I'm gonna be eating fettuccine carbonara and I also got some garlic bread as well. So I just ordered my little Uber Eats. No, I'm not sponsored by them. Yes, I wish I was because imagine getting free food. That would be amazing. So just got to the door just then. Let's go ahead and um, see how it looks. It smells amazing. Ooh. So first thing we have is arancini balls. Oh my God, my face. And then we have our carbonara. Then we have, I think this is just garlic bread. Oh, wow. It's a cheesy pizza. Oh my God, that smells so good. I can't deal. So um, let's just plate her up. <laughs> That's beautiful if you ask me. I put my arancini balls there and my pasta on the plate. Mm. Way too excited for this, guys. Okay, let's be real, I'm not gonna eat the salad. We also have some drinks. I have um, one of my favorites. This is the Diet Orange and Passion Fruit. It doesn't have any sugar in it. I don't know how. It only has seven calories in it. I'm really confused, but it tastes so amazing. It's just sparkling mineral water, but it just tastes like soft drink. Oh. I also have my microphone here, so let's see if you can hear it. So I've been really obsessed with watching mukbangs. On my holiday to Europe, I literally watch like five, six a day and they go for a really long time. So I don't know what it is, but if you guys are really hungry right now, you're going to get more hungry. And if you're not hungry, you're going to get hungry watching this. I'm just telling you, that's what always happens when you watch these. And if you're wondering why is she doing an eating show, it's because I personally find them so satisfying. And if you don't want to eat the food that's like in the video, it kind of feels like you are because you're watching someone eat it. You know what I mean? I don't know. It just gives me that satisfaction. So let's do it. Oh, yum. That's good. Wow. It's been way too long since I've had pasta. I honestly feel like it's been a while since I've spoke to you guys properly, like on a consistent kind of basis. I freaking say that in every single video. Mmm. When people slurp, I die on the inside. But you gotta do it, you know? I'm gonna try. A little bit of the pizza. I've never really been a massive pizza fan, but when I was over in Greece recently, they had the best margarita pizzas. So you could say I'm addicted to them now. This is quite a beautiful pizza, if you ask me. Mm. It just tastes like garlic bread. It's so good. Mm. Oh my god, I just looked at my lips because I thought I had lip gloss on, but I realized it's literally just the grease from the pizza. Ha! Huh. Big mood! I'm gonna get some questions up because I know some people don't want to see me just eating. Although that's what I like to watch. <laughs> um, I asked you guys to ask me some questions over on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, just go to at shiny grimmett. And you better check it out there. Lots going on. Oh my God. <laughs> I just opened all my questions. There's so many from people I know just being smart asses. Love that. You know, that average lady eats one lipstick in her life, but I honestly think I would eat like 50 because the amount of times where I like lick my lips when I'm eating is actually insane. First question is, is Tommy moving to Brisbane with you? Now, I haven't actually answered this one yet, but people have been asking me a lot. 
The answer is yes, he does live here, but he does have to go in between Melbourne and Sydney and here as well. So he's here. I don't know. We haven't really been home probably because we've been tra traveling a lot, but pretty much the goal is to be home as much as possible. But obviously a few days a week, he'll be in Melbourne or he'll be in Sydney or whatever he has to do. He'll be like wherever he needs to be. But his Fortnite, like PlayStation's here, which is like obviously where he lives. And that's right over there. He just called me, made me update his Fortnite for him. Love that. Um, and yeah, all of his clothes are here and stuff. So, but it definitely is like living in between. Like it almost feels like he's living in between because all of the traveling he does, but yeah, that's uh, the answer. Also, I just want to talk about um, my little trip to Europe because I didn't actually vlog it. So I just want to give a little update. Actually, I'm going to try one of these orange balls. I don't like, I can't really bother getting like a knife. Oh, wow. I've never seen an orange ball with um, vegetables inside it. I think it's meat and vegetables. Hmm. But what I was trying to say is that my trip to Europe was literally like one of the most soul searching trips I've ever been on. Like I can definitely say that the last week was like amazing, so fun, like so many amazing memories. But the first week was just like, I don't know, no matter where you are in the world, obviously we all have feelings and I was obviously so grateful to be there. But I don't know, at the start, like me and Tommy just had so many conversations about things that I want to change in my life, things that he wants to change, things that we want to get better at. And it was just like opened my eyes to a lot of things, a lot of friendships that I've lost um, just like a lot of different things that really opened my eyes and it made me like really emotional. So I reached out to a few people and I'm catching up with some people that I've had a falling out with in the past, which I'm super excited about. And I don't know, it just, it was just such a weird time in my life where I've really just sat there and for like the week that we were there, the first week, I just really reflected on my life and where I'm at and like where I want to be. But yeah, it was just such a great time. And I'm so glad that I went on it because yeah, I feel like I really am starting to like discover myself and I feel like it's so hard to do that these days, honestly, especially in this like day and age. Oh my God. I'm going to feel so bloated after this, but <laughs> it's so worth it in the moment. <laughs> I never used to twirl my pasta. I literally just used to like be a big pig and pick it up like this. But as I was watching mukbangs, I realized I think it's a polite thing to do to twirl. It's so random how you actually just judge people on how they eat. I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to be like cute, but it's really not working. Because you know when you're really hungry, you just like all your manners go out the door because you're just like. So hungry. Mmm. I'm probably going to finish the whole bottle of this. More pizza. The crust is my favorite part in a pizza. Like, hello. Mm. <clears throat> I slurp my drinks a lot. You know what else I do? I also chew my drinks. Otherwise, I can't taste them properly. <laughs> I feel like I need to get this lip gloss off my lips, literally. Well, cheese wheel. <laughs> the next question is, <laughs> are you missing Melbourne? That's so funny. Um, no, I'm not. And I feel like I talk about Melbourne too much. So let's just fucking move on from that. I'm so glad I moved home. I'm so much happier here. And I feel like myself again. Thank you. Next question. I'm trying to do a really big bite because I actually love when people do it. Like it's so satisfying to me. Come on, baby. Come on, all the baby. Wow, I've never met someone 
so tone deaf than myself. Are you happy for your ex and are you guys civil? I think I've already like kind of briefly mentioned this, but we're totally civil. I'm literally so happy for him. Um, he looks like he's doing really well and I'm pretty sure he's said the same thing about me as well. We've both just gone our separate ways completely. If I saw him out, I would totally say, hey, I'd totally like have a chat with him. Um, no bad blood at all, which I'm so glad about that because obviously breakups can be totally like toxic and um, yeah, ours is like, I'm totally fine with him and just actually really happy to see him happy. So cheers to that. Oh my God. I'm like choked. I feel like I talk about anxiety a lot, but I, I do enjoy speaking about it because it's a topic that's very close to my heart. Um, how do you deal with anxiety, especially being in the public life? Um, I feel like my anxiety hasn't really fled in a very, very long time, which I'm very grateful for. Um, the only thing that really frustrates me is that it kind of, I don't really want to blame the anxiety, but it, I feel like it is the anxiety that kind of the fear of getting it stops me from doing certain things is what I'm trying to say. So for example, there's so many uh, opportunities that I turn down because I know I'm going to get a massive anxiety flare. And sometimes I stick around for a week and sometimes longer or sometimes shorter. And I don't know, it's just annoying because there's so many opportunities that I do turn down. Sorry, my camera died. Um, so many opportunities that I turn down because I'm put on the spot. So that's not ideal, but yeah, I guess I just, um, need to kind of push through that. I guess I need to take my own advice because I definitely still decline a lot of them. There's some things that I definitely push myself past. Yeah, I guess it's different. Anxiety comes in so many different forms and like mine happens a lot in work. So yeah. Sorry guys, my microphone wasn't working. The audio is back now, isn't it? Thank you. It sounds so shit without a microphone, I know. I love watching um, Trisha Paytas' YouTube videos <laughs> with her mukbangs because she'll sit there and like moan the whole time like because mm, mm, <laughs> the food tastes so good and it's like I'm trying so hard not to moan because <laughs> that's how good it is but I know that when I watch it and she's moaning I'm like come on but that's what I really want to do I'm not really a fan of those Mm, I'm gonna save them for Tommy and probably a lot of this Let's do this mm. I'm getting really full <laughs> Okay, so the last question that we have here is sorry to be personal, but where did you get your boobs done? Um, so if you guys don't know, I got my boobs done over a year ago now. So I really want to do a update on my boobs and talk more about that. But I don't know. I never wanted to promote where I went because one, I don't want to promote plastic surgery at all. I did a vlog about it just because I wanted to share my experience. I didn't know if I was going to love them after. So I didn't want to like promote something I didn't know would be amazing. And I don't know. I just feel like it's a very personal thing. So I didn't, I just didn't want to give out any names or anything like that. Um, if people ask me, I like personally I tell them but I don't know I can't I can't feel my nipples so I'm not going to be promoting this person overall I'm very happy with how they look but I am going to go to a different surgeon and get a second opinion just because they feel really funny on one side but I'll talk more about that in a separate video but yeah I, I don't really feel comfortable sharing that because um there are some things that I'm not happy with like my nipples like why can't I feel my nipples I'm really fucking angry Thank you. Wow, it's really taking a long time to get this down. That's when you full. My jaw hurts. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's little eating show slash mukbang. The next one that I want to do, um, I really want to do like a cooking one. Otherwise, I really want to do Taco Bell or there's like so many others that I want to do. So if you do like it, then let me know what you want to see down in the comments below. If you don't like these styles of videos, don't worry. I'll be back with some <clears throat> like vlogging. Well, I'll be back with some vlogging videos, makeup and all of that good stuff. I really hope I don't have coriander in my teeth. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I love you and I'll see you very soon. Bye.